Hey, what's up, Jeeve? What's up, big boy? How are ya? All right, guys. So I thought it would be fun to actually do something different in videos coming up. I don't have a lot of time where I can actually sit down and make a project video for YouTube, but I'm always in the shop. I'm always working on client builds, and I thought it might be fun to bring you guys along and show you how I'm doing projects, show you what my nightly routine is. I have a day job and my woodworking job is at nights. And so after I put the kids to bed, I come out here and do my thing. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys the in and outs of that and show you how I'm trying to grow my business. So anyways, here we go. Awesome. That Bluetooth lock is sweet, so. Anyways, here we are. Um, current state of this shop is a disaster. Um, I have a ton of projects going on right now. Like I said, I have this epoxy one going on this uh, walnut slab with the epoxy down the middle there. And then this table is a client table. I got to start this tonight. This was one that I did about four years ago, one of my first ever projects that I took on for a client. And the client wanted a walnut table, but did not want to pay for solid walnut price. So what I did with this table is I did a veneer and then, you know, breadboard ends, uh, again, veneered. But over time, the veneer on the edge, the edge banding, uh, one of their kids caught it on the edge of their clothing and it ripped off. And so what I'm doing is replacing all the edge banding with a more solid edge banding. And um, her, one of her kids actually got a hold of a sander and sanded the top. And so as a courteous, I said, you know what, why I'm doing the edge banding, I gotta spray it anyways. I'll go ahead and go ahead and sand this top and throw a new clear coat on them on it for them and get that taken care of. So again, just trying to take care of clients and go above and beyond because you never know when they'll come back and want more pieces. And if they remember that you go above and beyond, then hopefully they will want to buy stuff, buy more product from you. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I got to get that done, all edge banded. And then I also have a client that I am going to build a white oak uh, dining table for and I need to get them some samples of the white oak in various different stains and finishes so I can take that to them tomorrow. So it's a busy time. I love it and let's get to it. So the original edge banding that I had on this table was one that you actually iron on. It has the pre-stuck glue to the edge banding and then you take like a heater or an iron and go ahead and iron it on. The wood glue gets soft and then you go ahead and apply pressure to it and it should stick on there. Um, I'm not a big fan of that edge banding. I've had it fail in the past and like on this table it's failed as well. And the problem with it is getting off the excess glue that's on the table. And so let me show you how I'm uh, tackling that. So I have a propane torch and what I do is actually you can see the glue there and you just go ahead and heat up the glue. And then I found these awesome, I don't even know what you call them, but little pry bars, I guess, on Amazon. And what I went ahead and did is sharpen the edge on the uh, backside here and also on the belly. If I can get that in focus, there you go. And then once I have that heated up, that glue, I can go ahead and just scrape that off and it comes off super good. So after I did that all scraped off, I go ahead and get it sanded, get it nice and smooth, have all that residual uh, glue off there. And then how I'm gonna go ahead and mount the new edge banding. It's a paperback edge banding. It's also thicker. And then I am going to use some of this contact cement and apply that to the paperback edge banding. Also apply it to the edge on the table. And then once it sets up and gets tacky, it creates a permanent bond and you just have to apply some hard pressure all along it to make it set really good.
guys, it's the next morning. Um, I think I went in around 1 a.m. So I finished the edge banding on the table. I got those samples all put together. So now I gotta run those samples out to my client before I head to my day job. And yeah, I didn't get to spray the table last night. My sprayer actually, um, I don't know, something's going on with it. I'd love that sprayer, but it wasn't spraying very well. So I will come back tonight, spray the table, and yeah, we'll start there. All right, let's go. The shop locked up. All right. So my day job is over and now I heard back from my client on the samples. They approved one of the samples. They liked it a lot, pretty excited about it. And now I have to run some kids to baseball practice and then also baseball game. And then right after that, we can get to the shop. So I have the table all clear coated. I'll let this dry overnight and then I'll come back tomorrow. I'll sand it down just a little bit, knock down any of the orange peel and everything and then go ahead and do another recoat. Also, tonight I need to work up a plan on how I'm gonna build a porch swing for a client. They sent me over some inspiration photos and I need to look through those and decide on how I'm gonna build this swing. Um, here's the inspiration photos they sent me. So something like that. So shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna sit down here and figure out how I'm gonna go ahead and you know, build everything, make sure it's strong. And that's the last thing I want is this failing on the client. So, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Hey, good morning everyone, it's Friday. So I had to get up a little bit early this morning because I gotta head to my buddy's cabinet shop. He actually owns a really awesome machine. It's a wide belt planer. That way I can take this um, epoxy uh, river slab table, whatever you wanna call it, and run it through that. Just because when I'm sanding the epoxy, the wood around the epoxy is a little bit softer and it tends to make divots in the wood rather than you know sanding it all even so if i can get it through that wide belt sander um, it just makes life a whole lot easier so this is the table i'm talking about um we're gonna load it up in the back of the truck right now and make our trip over there it's about a half hour away and then after that i gotta head in to the day job so yep we'll go ahead and get this loaded up now When you're up at 1 a.m. every night, 
this needs to kick in. So I know it's not the healthiest, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. All right, so I have the epoxy river table all sanded down and a huge thank you to my buddy Mark for letting me use his wide belt sander today in his cabinet shop. Without that thing, this thing would have took me hours to sand. Um, also speaking of Mark, so he, like I said, he, has, he owns his own cabinet shop here in Utah and it is one amazing functioning machine he has going on there. So he's the same age as me, 32 years old. We went to high school together and even in high school he was crushing it. He had multiple clients he was taking on every year and straight out of high school, uh, you know, grew his business and just continued to grow and grow. And now right now we in Utah, I don't know where you're at, but in Utah we have a parade of homes where these builders just make these extravagant homes. And every year he has clients who want him to you know, build cabinets for the houses. So um, I think he's got like maybe three or four homes right now in the parade of homes with his cabinet work in him. And yeah, he's just crushing it. And you know, as I'm trying to make these videos and you know, strive to become a better woodworker and to grow my business, Mark is someone that I've always really looked up to. Uh, he just, yeah, he's killing it and it inspires me to become um, just like him. So again, thank you, Mark, for letting me use your stuff. And now I just threw the last coat of clear coat on this table because I got to deliver this first thing in the morning. All right, so I have the table top delivered to the customer today and they were super stoked on how it turned out. And that is always satisfying to have the customer excited with your work. And another thing that I was gonna show you guys that um, later on, but I actually got an order today, is I started an Etsy page to sell some products that, st stuff that I can do on the side while I'm doing my bigger orders. And that's thanks to the Make Box, Make Block Laser Box. The laser cutter, it's very similar to the Glowforge. Um, so yeah, why I am doing bigger projects, I have been making these minimalist style wallets on the side here. And you can see here, this one's made out of Wenge, and then this one is made out of zebra wood. So like I said, just started an Etsy page for these. I only have two sales so far, but it's sure fun. I'm loving the process of uh, fulfilling orders that way. So yeah, if you wanna check it out, here is my Etsy page. And you can see that they come in different bands. You can choose different bands that go around them, which I love these wallets. So I have my own personal one here. You can see that. Um, this one's actually made out of walnut and then Paduke on the back. And yeah, holds a bunch of credit cards. Um, doesn't fall out, I mean, it's, yeah, I've been loving this thing so far. So if you wanna pick one up, I'll have a link in my bio where you guys can get one picked up yourself. So, but anyways, that's gonna do it for the week, guys. It's Saturday night. I don't work on Sundays, and that's just the time to, for me to spend time with my family and get rejuvenated for the week ahead. So if you guys enjoy this style of um, content, let me know in the description below and also let me know on what you'd like to see um, me do. So I appreciate you guys following along and we'll catch you next week.